following show contains adult content. It's not our intent to offend anyone, but we want to inform you that if you are a child under the age of 18 or get offended easily, this next show may not be for you. The content, opinions, and subject matter of these shows are solely the choice of your show hosts and their guests, and not those of the Entertainment Network or any affiliated stations. Any comments or inquiries should be directed to those show hosts. Thank you for listening. Hey, ho, ho, what's up, everybody? Hello, welcome to the Why Jimmy Star so Show with Ron Russell, bringing you the good times in music, Wait. fashion, pop culture, and entertainment. We didn't look that dark before, so I'll have to like lighten this up a little Why bit. Why are we so dark? Dark days ahead. Woo! Not, no, still with. I think it, 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 you have to bring it up more, the light, because it is not getting us. No, tilt it backwards. Talk, talk, honey. You got to talk. Talk, talk, talk. Here we're we live on the air. Well, we have to come closer. Now we're bright and light, and you can see us. Today is going to be a great show. I can tell. I, I, I know we have two very, very uh, big shot. Awesome guests. Big shot guests in Europe. So we're going to Rome and we're going to Sweden today to talk to our guests. Yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we want to say hi to everybody in the chat room. It's just starting to fill up. Cindy Lady Lake is in the chat room. Hey, Cindy. Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Hey, Mike. How you hey, doing? Hey, Mike. What's doing? And uh, uh, we do have a fun show. We have uh, Federico Scrabani or... No. Federico Schiava... Uh, no, Fred Federico Schiava. Now you got me. Bene. Scribani. Uh, scriva bene. Scriva bene means in Italian, writes well. Scriva is right and bene is good. So his name is a good writer. I will ask him if that's how it's pronounced as scriva bene because that's how I would pronounce it. And I speak Italian. So we'll have to see how it goes. And we'll then see. we have Jasmine Cara coming on. Well, that's She's like Sophia Loren. It's not her name, it's Sophia Loren. But everybody makes it Loren, which it's not. And Sophia gets annoyed over that. The same as the other actress, the, the Puerto Rican actress. What's her name? Uh, who had, from, from the Ritz. What's the, what, the wonderful actress. Oh, well, it'll come to me, then I'll tell you about it. Either way, so it's all good. It's all fun. Uh, we also have Jasmine Kara coming on. She's a big star in Sweden, a big pop star, actually, in Sweden. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I think you guys are going to enjoy the show today, and it's something new. Rita we... Moreno. Oh. That's it. People say Rita Morano or, or Moreno. It's, it's Rita Moreno. That's how you say it in Spanish. Um just a point I'm making. It's no big deal, so don't get excited. I mean, well, am I boring you? Okay. Go on, Jimmy. Do it. Oh, it, ho, ho. It's all fun. So we're <laughs> going to have a good time today. So so really, you guys, so our first guest who will be coming on in about five minutes, um, Ron and I were watching. So it was one of Ron's friends, Terry, said, you yes. got to watch The White Lotus. It's a great show. She loves every it bit of it. It takes place in Italy, and it's awesome. So we started watching The White Lotus the first season, but it was like in Hawaii or someplace. And so we skipped the first season and went straight to the second season. And, Which was uh, wonderful. It's a phenomenal show. Because it's on HBO. Jennifer Coolidge, in my book, is a fabulous, fabulous actor who does nothing. She doesn't animate and do anything to try to win your attention. She simply does this. And we love her. And her face tells the story. So we want Jennifer Coolidge to come on our show so we could tell how much we love her work. And Jimmy wants to put her in one of his movies. So possibly she will say yes. She's become a very big star now. And sometimes when the st little people become big people, they forget about us people. But I don't think Jennifer's that way because she lives in New Orleans. She's a, a gay activist. She supports all the gay causes and gay people. And I think once she finds out that Jimmy and I are two gay men who are married, 
that'll make her feel safe and comfortable with us. So Jennifer Coolidge, if you see this video, which will be on YouTube, darling, we love you. Please come on our show so we could tell everybody how wonderful you are. Absolutely. So we're going to have a good time. We love the first, se the second season of the show. Um, we actually have uh, Federico's coming on, and he's from the, that season. And he played the piano he plays player. Giuseppe. And is that how you say it, Giuseppe? Giuseppe. 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 <laughs> and uh, Giuseppe. so it's going to be a lot and, of fun. And, and all those penises you saw were all fake. They're prosthetic. The guy, <laughs> no, the guy that had his legs open and he was looking down at his testicles and penis, and the camera comes in for a close up of that. It's a prosthetic. That was the it, first season. It's a rubber prosthetic they put over <laughs> his uh, jewels, and it's fake. Otherwise, it would never get. Uh, they couldn't do it. It's 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 not done yet. They're getting there, but it's not done yet. And the young hot guy in the second one, when he put his leg up on the chair, Theo James, and that twelve foot thing was hanging down <laughs> to the floor. That was also a prosthetic, and he said that it was a fake on some TV show. I forget who was Jimmy Kimmel or one of Jimmy those Kimmel big shows. or somebody one of those, one of those big shows. And they commented on his wang, and he said, "No, nah, that wasn't mine. That's a prosthetic rubber wang." So all of you men out there that felt Gee whiz, I hope my wife doesn't see that. And for all of you women out there who saw it and said, gee, I wish my husband had that, forget it. You could buy one in a neat play store. They're rubber dildos. You could buy one. <laughs> so, don't, so don't eat your heart out over the show. But we loved, we loved it. We loved Lotus. A lot of messages that I really didn't care for. Not necessary to have so many messages. Like one message was, Older men my age flirt with women, and it's just not done anymore. It's called, if a man my age tells a woman how beautiful she is and how lovely she looks, it's it's not done. It's called intruding on her some bullshit. I don't know what. <laughs> but I don't know any woman that doesn't want to be told she's beautiful. Uh, I don't believe that's so. I mean, I, as an 82-year-old, soon 83-year-old man, when people say I'm good-looking, I get thrilled. Because to be 82 years old and still be considered good looking, that's quite a compliment. So you can compliment me anytime you want. So and we the, anyway, the other point that I didn't care for was uh, the fact that women can exploit men. Women can come on to men as prostitutes, as they show in this movie, or women can hit on men, but men are not allowed to hit on women anymore. This is what the woke, what was it called? Woke? Woke. Woke people are doing. I think the woke people are crazy. They, walk people. <laughs> whatever the hell they're called. Woke, woke. Walk, walk, walked is what they are. Woke. I think they're on the wrong road to anything. Leave it alone, kids. We lived with it for, for so many years and we were happy with it. Don't try to change it to make it your world. Because you know what? One day your world will be somebody else's world and they're going to change all the old bullshit. So, so here we go. Leave it alone. So real quick, you guys, we want to thank everybody for tuning in every week. You can hear us on SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music, YouTube, Google Podcasts, Radio Public, TuneIn, Pandora, Amazon Prime. The show last week with uh, Giovanni huh. Russo and uh, Sam Jones went really Johnny, good, you guys. Giovanni. Uh, Johnny. Johnny, that's right. Johnny, Johnny Russo. Johnny Russo, the mafia guy. That show is still getting like – Thousands and millions of hits. I mean, it went over the top. It was really good, so we appreciate it. And what we're going to do real quick, we're going to play uh, – to get an idea of, of uh, what Jasmine Carroll will sound like as our second guest, we're going to play a short song, and then we're going to come on back with Federico. So this is a great song. It's called Cash is Queen by Jasmine Cara. Enjoy it, and uh, we'll be right back with our first guest. Yay! <laughs>
That was Jasmine Kara. She'll be coming on later. Am I going to have fun with her? She's not going to be. She's going to flip out with the stuff I'm going to do. She said that that is no the, money, no honey. I mean, that, <laughs> and, and, and pussy power. Pussy is I power. Mean, she, this has got to. This has got to make some kind of a statement. I mean, talk about a gay video. I mean, but you know what's sad about it is they always show gay people as very gay. They never show gay people like Jimmy and I, like regular normal guys. You know, we pass for straight. If we don't, you know, make out in, in public, nobody knows. <laughs> nobody knows we're gay. I mean, I mean, really. If I want look, when I play in movies, nobody knows I'm gay. I act very straight. So we're so gonna bring on our first guest. The image of gay is not necessarily woo. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna bring on our first guest, you guys. Um, let's bring him on in, Juan. Let's see if we can hear him, and then we'll get rocking. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Benvenuto al mio spettacolo, Frederico. Grazie mille. Grazie a tutti e due. Go bene. Io parlo italiano poco, non tanto. È tanto tempo io non ho stato in Italia e io ho dimenticato tante parole. So. That's ma... very good. I don't speak Ita English as you speak Italian. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> So hold on. Okay, so before I introduce you, as an Englishman, how would I pronounce your name? Don't you say anything. Uh, uh, yes, because I heard it. I, I heard him uh, before. My name is Federico, not Fre, but Federico Scribani. Okay. Scribani. Okay, Federico, so no Fred, Federico Scribani. Si, ma quando ti vede, leggio, scriva bene, no? Scribani was the scri scribes, he, he, those who write, not good or bad, but uh, normally in, uh, um, in old times, la gente che scriveva. Se scrive, sì, è così, sì, la grammatica in italiano, I suck at it, I'm not good at it. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't been in a long time. <laughs> I lived in Italy with my grandmother for about eight months, and I, my Italian, I speak Genovese. Where? Where? Genova. In Genova? A Genova. Io sono Genovese. Mia padre era ah. di Mia madre era di Venezia. Le trovi al pesto. That was when he was how old? Oh, 17. 17, but now he's going to be 83 in like two months. So he is stuck in Italia con Giulio Cesare. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it now we want to hang on. I, let me introduce I just, him. I, have to convert, I just said to him, I was living in Italy with Julius Caesar. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. Now we're welcome to the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell, uh, Italian I, film, television, and theater star. 
Federico Scribani. Yay! Hi, Yay! everybody. Hi. Mwah, mwah. Tanti baci, tanti baci. It's going to be a lot of fun. So this is my cool, outrageous man about town co-host, Ron Russell. Piacere a Canosha. Piacere. Um, I'm Jimmy Starr. We have people joining us in our chat room. So just say hi to everybody in the chat room. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody there. There you go. Perfect. So you're in Rome, right? Yes, I'm actually in Rome. Yes, I live in Rome. And now I'm in Rome and uh, it's, it's night here. It's uh, nine, uh, half past nine uh, p.m. Yes, it's nighttime. <laughs> and where are you from? Where do you? Dove vieni? De che parte in Italia? Roma. Uh, oh, se, se era nato a Roma? Roma e romanista, a uh, supporter oh. of Roman team uh, of football, soccer. Mi è stata a Roma in 1957. I was born yet. Me neither. Me neither. La Roma, Me neither. La Roma <laughs> ha cambiato tanto. Ah, uh, yes. yes. Sì, molto, ha cambiato molto. Yeah, Change. Said, um, I, I said Rome has changed. It's not what it was, and he said yes, it's changed a lot. Well, the Colosseum is still there, and all, all the monuments are still there, as uh, in the fifty-seven. But now is uh, the, the more, much more people, much more tourists uh, uh, than before. Yes, so I, I remember when I was in Rome, I was looking for La Palazzo di Giulio Cesare, the palace of Julius Caesar. So I went up to a policeman and I said in my broken bad Italian, Dove vivere Giulio Cesare? <laughs> and he said, Non lo so. Uh, I thought he was dead. <laughs> when I said it, my grammar was so bad, I said, Where does Julius Caesar live? <laughs> so he said, Oh, I don't know, but he, I think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember that. You record tutto. So you, okay, so you, uh, we're going to talk about the White Lotus in a minute. I want to talk yes. about some other stuff first. First of all, <laughs> first of all, so I read online that you're a graduate from the National School of Cinema in Rome and that you speak perfect French. Yes, because my mother's Swiss and I have my, I did my studies in, in Swiss. So, uh, je peux parler français comme un français. Je fais du théâtre en français. I I do some uh, French theater here in Rome. See? Yeah, I looked up. Oui. So I oui. looked. Je parle français, oui, un peu. Mais alors on peut parler français, peut-être. Solo un peu. Perché la la dialetto di Genova è zenese, e quando ti parli zenese è poco francese. What I just said was the native dialect of my father was Genoa, but they call it zenese, and it is a half French and half Italian because Genoa and Italy border each other, almost. So, a capisco. Genova is a beautiful town, eh? A Genova, sì. Yeah. Io non ho abituato a Pelli. Pelli è proprio sul ah. il mare. All the coast, all the, the seaside of uh, Genova, the Liguria is very beautiful. It's beautiful. Amazing. Io c'ha cugini che abito a a a a a Portofino. I found my love in Portofino. No, no, no. My cousins. Io c'ha cugini che abito a a a. He speaks English. He's got to do more English. Castello Rocchiero. E a cui termi? Yeah, not not particularly not, but I know that uh, exists. <laughs> right, I said that my cousin, I have cousins that live in these two towns uh, in Italy. And so he, now, he knows yes, now they are they are here in Italy now. You see, you see. His so we say hello to the to all the cousins of Ron in Genova yeah. and all the Lelia, Lelia Giorgenti, Brescia. Hi, bye bye. And the other cousin is Raffaella Brescia. Oh, you know who Raffaella else you got to say hi to? So, uh, say hi to Terry Vecchio. Say hi to Terry Vecchio. <laughs> ciao, Vecchio. Ciao, Terry Vecchio. Hi, so hi, hi ciao, Terry. She told us on Friday last week that we need to watch The White Lotus. That's why we watched it in the first place. Uh, because she said everybody in her development loves it and it's a great show and you guys have to watch it and and it takes place in Italy, and swap, they're swap, all swap, Italian. Swap, swap, he understands me. Swap, swap, swap. Oh, no, yes. Uh, when I don't understand, I, I, I 
put my hand like that. She she told me that, you know, she lives in a 55 and over community. Psychic cause at 55 and over? They probably don't have Uh, that. Up to a gentleman. Yeah. A gentleman. Like us. (laughs) And she said to me, all the women are piaciuto molto a vedere tutte quelle belle cazze. (laughs) <laughs> no, I said, but they were fake. Non era vero. Yeah, no, no, non era vero. No, no, it no, was no. the makeup. Yeah, it's all. I, I asked it. for it uh, too, but they didn't give me. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I. I That's because you couldn't get it up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So wait. So how long? How long? How long have you been acting? How long have you been acting in Italy? Well, uh, I did my schools when I was uh, twenty-six. Now I'm fifty-eight. So oh, make it... we're the same age. Yes, okay. And, uh, and you know, since then, do you know or have you ever met Sophia Loren? Uh, no, I don't know Sophia Loren. And I have never met. I've met uh, when I was in school. I've met Marcello Mastroianni. Oh. That I, I'm uh, his. Uh, uh, he was my star because he played. He he did this uh, this uh, work as I intend. You want to work? It's, like a, it's, it's a play. It's a play. He was playing. He was j- joking. No, he was. Uh, yeah. Very cool well, about uh, this. I, I worked io lavorato con Sofia Loren quando io era 17 anni. Io ho fatto una film con essa. Uh, che I, film? Just told I worked with 17, uh, 17. Uh, I worked with Sofia Loren when I was 17 in a movie. And era molto brava. And she was very nice. Molto cari- cara. Carismo, come si dice? Una donna così carisma, non, era alta, con... non era alta in testa. No, 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 che, che carisma, non si era montata la testa. Sì, si è, dice, è una, we say in donna, Italian. Sì, era una donna così real. She was a real woman. Era yes. una persona reale. Sì. Io ho piaciuto la Sofia molto. Beh, Sofia è la nostra star in the world, you know? Oh, yeah. No. She's, she's an international star. Yes, And yes. Everybody, the so, world knows her. She's I a would woman. like to say hi to Gida Lolo Bridges uh, that has died a uh, uh, few days ago. Sì, è morta. She's dead. Sophie, uh, uh, Gina Lolo Bridges uh, was a wonderful Italian actress who passed away. The only thing bad about her was she sued everybody she ever worked with. And she was famous for suing people. Conosce la parola su? Quando ti va alla ligare e fatto uno su? Okay, I don't know the word for su in Italian. Quando vai a legare? Quando? A cucire? No, tu, tu, tu. No, not so, not no, no. so. Tu, su. Tu, tu, tu. Quando una persona <laughs> dito una cosa brutta di un altro, si va a court. Ah, e fai gossip. Legale. Gossip, like, like uh, bad you're... words uh, of uh, yes. other other people. Yes. Right. So we, so Ron, just so you know, so we, here in America we have a television station called Turner Classic Movies. It's all the famous movies from the '40s and '30s and '50s and Slow. '60s, and with all the late, you know, um, Jane Russell, Marilyn Monroe movies, and uh, Sophia Loren movies. Uh, Lauren, yes. Lauren, is it Lauren? Lor- it's Sophia Lauren. Sophia Lauren, Lauren movies. Lauren. Okay. Lauren, and what quantity is Dicho Lauren? Sophia Veneraviato. When you say Lauren, <laughs> Lauren, L O R E N. Lauren, Lauren. With the accent Sophia. on the O. Lauren. Yes, Lauren. Lauren. See, si. non è Lauren. Lauren una so Ron Lauren. knows, knew, Ron was friends with many of the actors from that time that he either met them like Elizabeth Taylor and Betty Davis and he was best wow. friends with, Jane, best friends with wow. Jane Russell. Wow, ah, io sono così and, uh, vejo. Una, una uh, vejo qui. Uh, <laughs> Proprio una vejo. vejo. So, <laughs> so he's like an expert in all of the old movies and he loves that a lot. And uh uh, and he and he loved the White Lotus. Let's talk about the White Lotus. Did you have? I, a- I, I, listen, I will say it slow. I loved how you played 
the person you played. Giuseppe. Ha fatto un lavoro così bellissimo. You did Thank a wonderful you. job. I liked the way you looked at quella putana and you no, and you were so una desiderio. You desired her so much, yes. and she was. Uh, the, you played that desire with lust. Capisce la parola lust? Lust, perso. Lust vuol dire oh, io voglio, voglio, voglio. E quella lust dice niente. Do you do you have a brother named Tommy? Ah, uh, nephew. Nephew, Tommy's in the chat room. Say hi to Tommy. Thomas. Ciao, he said Tommy. It's he says it's Tommy called Tommy speaks very, very well uh, English because he went in the American school, so he could help me in this interview. He said it's called denuncia. And? Denuncia. He, he said it's called denuncia. Kia, kia denuncia. Who is? Huh? I, I don't know what denuncia means, so People I don't know. Need a denuncia. What is that I have mean? a new, it's called Tommy, and uh, the family name is like me, is Scribani. <laughs> and uh, he, I don't know if he's him. Okay. <laughs> okay. I thought maybe that was denuncia was like legal, like legal, like a no, sue. No, no, I thought maybe denuncia his, was his sue. Name. Oh, okay. No, he says it's called denuncia. His name is Tommy. Oh, when you sue somebody, it's called denuncia. Tommy Scribani is my nephew. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Tommy. <laughs> Hi, Tommy. So, okay. No, I'm not hearing the word denuncia. No, no, no. So. Okay, so everybody, real quick. So, so uh, the reason that we reached out to have Federico come on is because he has a he plays Giuseppe in the White Lotus season two, also starring Jennifer Coolidge, John Grease, F. Murray Abraham, and Adam DeMarco. There's so many people: Tom Hollander, Sabrina. Thirteen. Or there are thirteen uh, little lore, little uh, roles. Michael Imperioli, Theo James, Will Sharp, Aubrey Plaza. I can't pronounce the Italian ones. Uh, Simona Tabasco. Beatrice Granno, Simona Tabasco e Sabrina Impacciatore. Yes. Uh, El Brian Eleonora. 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 Eleonora Romandini e Federico Ferrandini. Lasciami le Grande. Le Francesco, Francesco Zecca, I like him. Francesco uh, Zecca. Lasciami yes. Paolo Camilli e Bruno Gheri. I actually yeah. met Michael Imperioli at a Barnes and Noble here. Barnes and Noble is a bookstore that sells books. And I met him many years ago. He was very nice when he was on The Sopranos, yeah. which was a very big show. It's a very, cool, it's a very cool guy, Michael. Yes. In Italiano. Ma è stato qui in America? Lei. No, ma è stato lì in America. Never. I wait to work there <laughs> soon. Deve vieni qui a Parham Springs. È un posto molto bellissimo. Eh, se mi ospitate, io vengo volentieri. Vieni a casa mia, fai un pasta. We also have Mia Scrabani. Wait, wait. Mia Scrabani is in the chat room, and so is... <laughs> yeah, Jay all the family. All the family. <laughs> and another person, I don't know how to pronounce it, J-A and then S-C-R-I-C-C-H-I-O, Josh Criccio. <laughs> well, it's not of the family, I think. I don't understand the name I'm of that. I'm saying hi to Tommy, so that's probably one of Tommy's friends. But anyway, okay. let's go back. Oh, come, era, come era lavoro con Jennifer Coolidge? Jennifer was a mm, magnificent person. Uh, we were very good there because we all lived in the same hotel. So we meet, uh, we meet each other in uh, away from the work. No, we were all together. We went uh, e eat uh, outside together. We are we are a family now of the White Lotus Sicily. Uh, love we love each other very much. And Jennifer was a, a wonderful person, amazing. We love her here. Jimmy and I are her biggest fans. Jimmy wants to put her in a movie. He also wants to put you in a movie as well. So uh, I think, well, maybe we're going to be working together. Now, fammi uno grande piacere. Sì. Adesso, chiama la Jennifer. E dire alla Jennifer, de vieni qui, è solo mia spettacola. Perché... No, no, il numero. I don't have the phone number of Jennifer. She didn't give me. Uh, we're going to reach out to her. We're going to reach out to her. Eh. So I want to know. Siamo frigato. No, wait, wait. Eh, sì. I want to know, number one, did you have to audition? Uh, and number two is it's really you playing and singing, right? That's really you. It's not a well. My audition was 
playing and singing non dimentic car means don't forget you are <laughs> and uh beatrice granno the the actress who play bea is a very good uh, piano player very good she was playing uh, live and we all uh, sing live uh, for uh, production problems i didn't play live when i was uh, filming but okay. i can play and my audition was playing the song and uh, sing it uh, in the audition so i also noticed that uh that with um, beatrice grano you also did another movie with her, Enrico Paggio, yes. Piaggio Vespa. So, like, you had worked with us. That was the second time you worked with her. Yes, we didn't know because we didn't meet each other. We didn't meet each other when we filmed the, the, that play, that film. Enrico okay. Piaggio is a very famous uh, um, man here because he invented the Vespa. Do you know the Vespa? Did you did you remember yes. the Roman holidays? Yes, uh, that was I, the with I, Audrey Hepburn and. Uh, io guidavo una Vespa quando io stavo in Italia. Io andata a Genova, a, 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 a Pisa e Roma sulla Vespa. Sulla Vespa. Eh, once we make this uh, very long trip with Vespa. <laughs> And uh, Enrico Piaggio, the Vespa is a Piaggio. Yes. The, 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 the brand is Piaggio. And uh, that film was the story of the man who invented the Vespa. Okay. It's a teacher. Mia, mia, quando io parlo italiano, proprio come una vacca spagnola. Non mi parlo italiano bene, so fa finta con me. Um, no, no, ti capisco bene. Se vogliamo possiamo parlare italiano, non so se lei, quelli che ci seguono ci è, possono capire. Lei è, lei è sposato? Sì. E eh, ho due ha figlie. C'ha due figlie? Due figlie, sì. You got to tell people what you're saying because oh, I have two daughters. Two daughters. I married yeah. and have two daughters. Okay. Uh, so now, all you ladies out there who dream about getting him to marry you, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a, a, if they have seen that white lotus, I'm a very creepy old man. Uh, so I don't know if they want to marry me. So actually, you so were wonderful in that. Part. So were you, you really were? Were you uncomfortable? I, since I haven't seen your other films because I haven't seen. No, I, no, I, I'm sure. Were you, un, were you uncomfortable? Were you uncomfortable doing that? Like that whole thing where you went into the church to try to have sex, you know, with her and, and all that. Was that uncomfortable for you? Was that the first time you did a sex scene? Uh, that was the first time, but I was uncomfortable because uh, Mike, uh, another person that I love so much since I meet him the first time is Mike White. He's a very genius. And uh, all the cast were so uh, comfortable all along uh, the, the, the fi filming. And I, I uh, hopefully, uh, we did the, that scene at the end of, our, of my stay there. So we, me, we knew each other uh, with the bear. Uh, we knew each other uh, good. Yes. So we didn't have so much uh, problem. Uh, normally, when you, you do a sex scene, uh, you do in the first days of shooting. So you don't know the, the other person very much, and that's not so comfortable. So you did it the other way around. Lasciami spiegare che cosa hai fatto. In English, let me explain to you what he yes. did. He is yes. a piano player who falls madly in sexuality with this hooker. She's a prostitute in a putana, and she doesn't want to have anything to do with him. And he wants why, him. if she's a hooker, why she didn't want me? Because <laughs> non detto la soldi. <laughs> but she I gave her all my friends I want for for her. You had to have seventeen hundred. You are all together. No, 1200. 1200. <laughs> anyway, but wait, wait, spit this. Anyway, so he finally gets her in a church where he's trying <laughs> to hang her, but he can't get a heart on. I'm so secreted. 
So the scene is over, and we and all... she gives him pills. Yeah, so of something gives... else that's not wait, Viagra. Wait, wait, wait let, let me do. It. You want the boy doing? Hello, <laughs> <laughs> and when you ended, you I did the fungal. Call a putana. She tried to kill me. Right, with, by switch, she accidentally gave him not a Vi Viagra. She gave him a poisonous pill. Now he winds up in the hospital, and the other hooker who wanted to play the piano was the same him, hooker. She got a job. She got the job away. She, she, was, she got she, the wait job. A minute, wait a minute. Now, after have a after have a sexual uh, scene uh, with the uh, uh, with Sabrina with the uh, Valentina, who was the right. director right. of the hotel. Right. That's right. Now the manager of the hotel is a dyke, and she has a hearts for the piano player girl. So she gives the piano player girl the job. His job. And he gets fired. <laughs> and his last words in the film are, I think, Fanculo? Vaffanculo. Vaffanculo. Vaffanculo in Italian means go put it up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so I love your word, bravo. I've got to do a lot because you're bravo. Grazie, grazie. No, it was very good. No, and the I, reason she agrees to have sex with him is because he's going to introduce her to people because she... Right. You know, it's a wonderful, because she wants it's a wonderful to like become show. a famous piano player. It's a wonderful show. And I think everybody here should watch it. It's Sicily at its best. I've stayed in Tarumina, so I know what Tarumina is. It's a beautiful, very piccolo little town. It's the Beverly Hills of Sicily. Um, the food is excellent. The sauce is very red different from where we come from. Where we come from, the sauce is more francese, but in a Sicilia puree, la, la salsa, così. Eh, si. Ma eh, un po' più forte. Strong. Un po' più forte. Okay, so did you have to audition, or did they just offer you the job, or did you have to actually no, audition? No, 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 no. Of course not, they don't offer. I did... Uh, Twice, uh, two auditions with Mike. One uh, was a, a self tape before mm -hmm. I played the piano here in the in house, and I sent the self the, the selfie to 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 the production to the casting, and then we had a call back with Mike, and we did again the the scene, and uh, after she he she he uh, chose me. I love it. So, so you're a big star in Italy. No, no, no. I'm not a big star in Italy. Uh, I heard you before. I'm not a big star even now. And when I will be a big star, I will be in this show, even if I will be a big star. That's up. <laughs> uh, I promise you. Ben, if see. Si. Deve, deve Ho sentito così. prima che dicevi che quelli che non erano famosi poi si dimenticano. È la, è la verità. La verità. That, uh, you have uh, this record. It's my first, uh, absolutely first I'm interview overseas. With, oh, that's with, good. Uh, well, yeah. So you are the, the number one. So uh, if I will become uh, very famous, I yeah, always I be there for Hello. you. Sen good. Sentiamo. Deve stare si. qui. So no, io chiamo la mafia. E fa uno job. Ah! E fa il job, fa il job. Fa questo job e fammi lavorare là, dicevano. Italia la Berlin. So you guys also... Si sa che cos'è un Berlin? Il Berlin a Genova so cos'è. Sì, sì, sì. I know what Berlin is in jeans, in Genova. Ma tutta la gente si dice, mo Berlin che cosa ti fa? You know, and una, una parola in brutta. Sicily, in Sicily, we say uh, they say minchia is the minchia. same thing. Yeah? Minchia, minchia. These are all the words for dick, everybody. Berlin and minchia mean penis. In, yes, uh, it's, uh, not so a, it's not a sunset, it's a penis. And it's not a vulgar word. The way the Italians say it, it's like what we say when we get upset, we say, um. Oh, frigate. We really don't mean it. It's just an expression. Right? So, so really I know because my father simply <laughs> had that. Oh, Berlin, the cosa ti fa? Oh, scemo. Non ti fa. Fa un uomo yes, yeah. un uomo elegante. Non fa lo scemo. Ti fa cambiare. Hey, Berlin. 
they sing so much. They, 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 in Genova, they sing where they speak. Yes. Did you ever hear the expression Tetaka Miaja? <laughs> no, that's not. A Genovese, che sono che dice Tetaka al muro. I hit you, I smash you against the wall. And my father used to say to me, Tetaka Miaja, stupido. <laughs> So real quick, you guys, too, you can follow Federico on Instagram. He's It's his name, except for that there's a uh, under, underscore in between his first name and last name. So it's Federico underscore Scribani. And uh, um, you can follow him on Instagram. If you go on his Instagram, you see all the pictures from the White Lotus. He's got pictures with everybody in the cast. Uh, it's fabulous. It's a lot of fun. Yes. Watch um, the show. You will enjoy his performance. He plays it so well. You really feel sorry for him. You almost want to give him a hand job. I mean, really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand or, that. Or come to teach in Italiano, uno pom pom. <laughs> um, so you guys, so you did another movie. You did another hey, movie. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, my my nephew. I don't don't listen every word that he's saying because my nephew. Oh, how uh, old la is pompa, he? Sí, la pompa. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's big. It's big enough. It's big enough. Big enough. It's big enough. See. Oh, that's funny. Listen. So you do a lot of comedies, though. A lot of the movies I think that you were in, or as I was looking on IMDb, they look like they're comedies. So you do a lot of comedies. Yes, I do everything they they they, they propose. Eh? I, when there's comedy, it's comedy, and I'm an actor. I do everything. So I'm not especially in the comedy or in dramatic films. I I, I try to make my best when they offer me some work. So you also did a lot of theater. Uh, how yes, do you find, yes, yes. Do you find theater to be harder than when you do movies and television because you you can't make mistakes. Yes, uh, <laughs> it, it, it's dif it's different. You have to learn uh, by heart uh, every word uh, in one hour and a half uh, of uh, of the the the, the 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 theater, and that you don't have to make mistakes. Yes, but uh, it, the feelings that you have with people that are seeing you is is very Amazing. good. Uh, you don't have it when you work in the films or in TV movies. Do you get recognized for being in? First of all, do they watch the show in Italy? Do they watch the White Lotus? Eh, not so much because it's on um, um, it's on Sky here, and no much much people have it. But uh, they they are speaking because naturally it's in Sicily, so we have to talk about uh, uh, well, after the Golden Globe, and uh, we don't we have to remember that we are nominated at the Saga Awards that yes. will be in the. Uh, February is 26th in yes. uh, So we Are hope you to win it. No, I going? cannot go in, but uh, some uh, some other guys are, are going. No, I'm, I cannot go in. I'm working. Okay. Ma in Italia, deve pagare a vedere questo spettacolo? Sì. You have to be, uh, have a, devi avere un abbonamento a Sky. Sky is the platform. Uh, uh, that, uh, gente non vedo. Uh, you, see. Have pay, you have to pay to see this uh, white lotus in in Italy. You have to and, pay here too. Well, yeah, but a lot of people in Italy don't have the money or whatever. They don't pay for it, and that's the it's reason. It's on HBO here. It's HBO. not because they don't like it. They would love to see it, but they don't have the money. Yes, yeah. because it's not it's not so cheap uh, here. Uh, right. We're, we're we're fortunate because AT and T, which is the phone service company that does our phones. If you're a member of AT&T, they give you HBO for free, HBO Max. So we oh, get to see it. Oh, you're very lucky. Yes. <laughs> yes. See, yes. That's why you're very lucky. I think it's a lot of fun. No, but you have to pay for HBO. <clears throat> we don't because we get it for free because we have AT&T. Oh. Uh, but otherwise you would. And, you know, in, here in the United States, it's a huge show. It's like, you know, the IMDb number. I don't know if you pay attention to the number. On IMDb, the rankings of things, but the White Lotus is ranked number five. It's like the most pop, one of the most popular shows in America, and uh, oh, I mean, so everybody so will cool. know you. So everybody tutti, will know tutti, you. Tutti, 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 tutti gente <coughs> qui in America. This Why? creepy old man, yes. <laughs> oh, it, it, it was a, bold, a big hit. 
come si dice in italiano? Yes, un grande successo, un grande successo. A great success, un grande yes. successo. I actually, and per uh, questo uh, coso, lei, because of this you will get a lot of work. I hope, eh? Oh, I know. I, Jimmy already, no. I put the picture of you on my TikTok that you were coming on the show on my TikTok and I got 206,000 plays. Hai made a little video with ha, music. Ha capi, ha That's a lot, 206,000. Su TikTok ha messo la foto mia e ci ha avuto 216 likes. I will put my likes too now. I have TikTok okay. too, but I didn't oh, okay. use it okay. so much. Uh, I just started using it because everybody's doing it, so I wanted to yes, do it. Yes, uh, me too. Jimmy, Jimmy is a producer. Jimmy uh, does very good movies, multi-millioni di dollari film. So he said to me after seeing after seeing your work that he would like to put you in one of his movies. Yes, I have nine, I have nine movies that are in different stages of development right now that I'm working And on. And he has written a film. That 1943 con uh, Hitler. Adesso io fa la, la, the film 2, 2, a uh, Mussolini. Okay? Eh. Quando io fare quello film, io ti chiamo. Io sono un gerarca perfetto. Sì, io ho bisogno di un italiano che uh, con Mussolini. So, vediamo. Spi Spiriamo. Sono qua. Sì, so, wait, io wait. sono qui. We're going to take a two-minute break. Hang on one second, because what I did is I downloaded your acting reel. Yes. I downloaded your acting reel so people can get an idea of some of the stuff that you've done. And so oh, we're going to play it for okay. everybody, and then we're going to come back. So we're going to play it for everybody. Juan, you have that, right? Um, so everybody, this – actually, you announced it. Say, that I'm Federico – Uh, I'm name, Federico Scribani. Yes, do that. Do that. And say, this is my I'm Federico video. Scribani, and now on Jimmy Star's show – There is some real oh, of oh, me. Oh, and, oh, and, oh, 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 and Ron, yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> the two, right, the, both of them. Take it away, Ron, uh, Juan. If you want her alive, you will always feel her presence around you. Respect the design of nature. Et voilà que le moment le plus important du festival est finalement arrivé. Celui que tout le monde attend avec impatience. Alors la Palme d'Or 2021. L'incroche de l'ombre de Monsieur Carlo Verdone. Guarda che luna. Guarda che mare. Ma questa notte, senza te dovrò restare. La prima volta che ti ho vista, tu eri un'estranea che mi aveva portato via la donna che amavo. Non sai quante notti mi venivo a vederti, avrei voluto abbracciarti. E continuo a pensare a lei, a quello che avevo perso. E ora invece di guardo, e vedo la persona più importante della mia vita. E ora son solo a ricordare e vorrei sentirti dire guarda che luna guarda che mare tu sei Guido padrone di sto posto io so Volfango il fidanzato di quella che è appena uscita avvocato Lopari veramente volevamo parlare con suo figlio eh piacerebbe anche a me è a Londra da due mesi Aveva promesso che avrebbe chiamato tutte le serie, ma se non lo chiamiamo io e sua madre... Se tu non sai dove sono i siciliani, non mi serve a niente. Ti do 48 ore di tempo. Non un'ora di più. Ma guarda che luna! Per venire sì. Ma mi ha detto che si vergognava di me. Di me. Io che farei di tutto per farla felice. Veronica è morta ieri. La settimana scorsa. Perché sei stato tu a ucciderlo, vero? È vero! Guarda che luna! Guarda che mare! Guarda che è luna! E maintenant che tutto è finito, peut-on se faire un selfie? Un selfie? Se lo potremmo fare, sì. E facciamo un selfie. Lo potremmo fare? Eh, certo. Dai, yeah. Dai, yeah. 
Guarda, possiamo farne un'arte, è venuta mossa, qua. Torini, guarda. Eh. Polipi. Tutto a posto, tutto a posto. C'è qualche diverticolo, ma non c'è nessun polipo, ok? Sì. Yeah! <laughs> Lavoro bene. <laughs> That was my show reel. Yes. Uh, I love it. I think it's fun. I've, I've, I've looked on your Instagram earlier today and I saw the link and I clicked on the link to your Instagram and found it and took it off of YouTube because it's fun. It's and that is me singing, huh? Eh? It's yes. me singing live, huh? Eh? Yes. Io voglio dire qualche cosa. Dico. Io sono nato qui in America, ma mm. io sono tutto 100% italiano. Trofi al pesto. I said I was born in America, but I'm 100% Italian. I just happen to be an Italian born in America. That doesn't make me American, it makes me Italian. If I were born in China, I'm not Chinese, I'm still an Italian born in... So if I were born in Italy, I would be just like him. <laughs> Right, Federico, I'd be like you, un italiano, che parla italiano più bene. <laughs> eh, esatto, certo, sicuramente. Like, eh. Lei deve venire qui in America a imparare a parlare inglese più bene. You did another sì. movie, too. You did another movie, and it's the only one I think that's probably in English. It's called I Dreamed of Africa, with Kim Basinger, Vincent Perez, Eva Marie Saint, and Daniel Craig. That's an English movie, right? Because I've heard of it. Yes, yes, with Hugh Hudson. The, the director was Hugh Hudson. And uh, yes, that was the story of um, a book uh, of Cookie Galman, uh, I Dreamt of Africa. Uh, I, that was uh, also an amazing experience. But when the um, editing, oh, because uh, uh, Cookie, the, 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 the lead role, was uh, Italian from Venice and went to Africa. And sometimes she came back in Italy to see her parents, uh, her friends, uh, and uh, we have filmed all that. But in the editing, they are cut off all. So I have an uh, um, amazing experience, but in the movie, I'm not so much in. Okay. They cut, they cut a lot of you out. Yes. I have a story of the Sophia Lauren. When I was making the movie with her, I went over and I sat next to her and I started talking Italian and she looked at me and she said, Cardo, my Italian is as bad as your English. <laughs> her English is as bad as my Italian. So we compromised. Io parlato un poco italiano, Sofia un poco inglese, tutte due come mati, gente mati. But she liked me. Sofia liked me a lot. Uh, I worked three days with her. And quando io andato via, Sofia ha fatto una bella baccia qui, proprio qui. I, and, you and didn't I, wash the, your, your shit, eh? No, quando, quando, io, quando io ritornato a casa, ha detto mia mamma, io non, non lavoro questa faccia eh. di più. <laughs> Mai più. Mai più. What I said was, Sofia Loren kissed me on the cheek goodbye, and I went home, and I said to my mother, no way, I'm never washing my face. That's Sofia's kiss. Uncle la Betty Davis me fatto una bacia qui. So Sofia so, it's so long that you don't wash your cheeks. Yes, it's, that's why they're so dirty. <laughs> no, uh, I was so happy because Betty Davis was a wonderful woman. Yeah, Betty Davis. A great actress, but a very nice person. And the same thing with Sophia. I only met one person in the movies I didn't like. Who was? Rhonda Fleming. Tu non conosci. Non lo conosco. No, she was around in the 1950s. Not, non era una grande stella, uh, ma era una donna così uh, maledetta, I don't know. So anyway, hold on. So here's, something, here's something I like to add. I like to ask all of the actors. It's like a what if question. So um, a male. Slowly. I know. He'll get it. I'll do it slowly. A male and a female actor, like on your bucket list of someone, two people you would really love to work with. They can be Italian. They can be American. But what's a male and a female actor that you think would be a lot of fun to work with? And then if you could have ever. A good one at a time. 
No, wait a second. second so confuse? he can think. No, he's not stupid. Just give him the first one, then you do and the then, second. No, no. The second part of the yeah, question, cool. the second part is if you could have ever been in any movie that's ever been made, what movie would you like to have been in? Um, so a male and a female actor you would like to work with and a movie you think would have been fun to be in. Ha capito? Uh, sì, sì, ho capito tutto. Adesso te lo traduco. Te, te lo posso tradurre quello che ha detto uh, uh, Jimmy. Uh, voleva sapere con che attore o attrice io voglia lavorare al massimo e in che film io uh, mi sarebbe sì. piaciuto essere. Ho capito bene. Sì. Eh? Ho capito tutto. And uh, that's a very difficult question. I have to think about it. Uh, I always uh, feel good with the actors and actresses that I work with. Uh, I don't know. I can do. I, I want to, to say that Marcello Mastroianni, uh, I cannot yes, be yes, in the film well. with him, but was my. Uh, way to to think this uh, this work eh? yes he worked as i want to work and uh, i want to to find uh, someone how like him yes that's good lui ha lavorato così bellissimo in la dolce vita eh, per esempio and the, sec the second the second part of the question is i could uh, i want to be in the dolce vita too yeah, he wants no, to be in that one. Well, la Marcello <laughs> voluto venire ecco così tanto, e essa non voluto niente a fare con lui. Eh, tu puoi fare questo lavoro in questa film, no? In quale film? Non ho capito questa, non l'ho capita. Forse uh, lei, la, I don't know, remake. Faccia ancora. Ah, the, the remake, the remake oh, of Dolce Vita. The Dolce Vita is changed. Here in Rome, Roma, as we said before, is changed. Via Veneto, that was the, 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 the street of the Dolce Vita, isn't the, Dolce, isn't the street now. It's, um, it's, they're all, all, only tourists that come here to see the Via Veneto because it's very famous. The Dolce Vita is uh, an, another place in the uh, Piazza del Fico. And, uh, uh, and so the Dolce Vita, we cannot make the remake of the Vi Dolce Vita. We can do a story about uh, the uh, star system uh, here in Rome, but in other places. Yes. Manucha la bellissimo di Anita Eckberg. Eh, Anita Eckberg è una donna così magnifica. We can find someone else. Eh. È, grande, yes. è grande Mameli. So wait, what about a, yeah. a female? What's a female actress that you would like to work with? Are there any female actresses that you think, oh my God, I would like love to work with whoever? We always say, I always say Charlize Theron because I like Charlize Theron, but like, like who do you is you have an actress that you think would be a lot of fun to work here, with? I, no, I don't I never expect to to work with uh, American stars in my in my in, no because I mean here in Rome we have we are in the second league of the see on the movies now no we are little uh, and uh, I can think about uh, some Italian actors that probably you don't know that's okay. Tell but us who. Anna Magnani. Anna the Magnani. Mocchierigo. Anna Magnani. Ecco, but she's dead as no, Valentina Zed. No, 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 she's dead, dead too. <laughs> That's okay if she's dead. Era una bella attrice in Italia di Anna Magnani. Stefania Sandrelli is an, uh, an old yeah. actress. Is a very famous Anna actress that still works. Stefania Anna Sandrelli. Oh, wait, did you Anna hear Magnani, you? I can... I Anna cannot Magnani. work with Anna Magnani anymore. No, yes. è morta. Ma, eh, sì. questo, ma questa questione era una fantasia. Ah, so. sì, ma allora, eh, Anna Magnani sì, sì, certo, no, Anna Magnani. No, no, la Jimmy ha detto vive e non è vive. Ah, vive e morta, questo non l'avevo capito. Il vivo, eh, lì. Così è Anna Magnani qui in America è la Suprema. Io ho visto tutta la film di Anna Magnani e quella donna era così una attrice moltissimo, moltissimo. E quella è Roma, Mamma Roma, the film of Pierpaolo Pasolini, where 
She played another hookers, by the way. Ma magnani era una attrice come Betty Davis. Betty Davis era americana, Anna Magnani era italiana. Anna Magnani was a uh, was Stesso. molto Stesso. brava. Molto brava Stesso. was even not brava because you have to work if you to be good. She was. I was you saying, know though, when... I was saying Anna Magnani in America was the greatest actress compared to Betty Davis. She was probably one of Italy's best actresses of, of drama and of, of film. Uh, she's a legend in Italy. For those of you in America who do not know who Anna Magnani is, go on your computer and type in Anna Magnani and you will be fascinated to know who this woman was. Yes. Also, yeah, uh, I agree. You know, you never know who you're going to work with, though, because in The White Lotus, you know, uh, Theo James is a very big star in America. I mean, he does $100 million movies, and so does Aubrey Plaza is one of the biggest stars now in America, and she does, you know, the biggest comedies around, and Jennifer Coolidge is becoming one of the biggest stars. Jennifer, you know? yes. But, like, Theo James I, has... I, I, I want to say also Marie Abram, eh? Uh, Marie Abram was there too, eh? He, oh, he won a... Yeah. A big actor, big, big He's actor. A big actor in Marie Abram uh, played in the Amadeus of Milos Forman, uh, played uh, Salieri, and that was the first film I saw on uh, on the cassette, VHS, when... Uh, do you remember yeah. when the cassette comes yeah. out? Yeah. The first yeah. cassette was uh, Salieri, was uh, Amadeus, yeah. and that is in my heart. And to work with him and to live with him for a month in Taormina was a very amazing experience. La parole, uh, years ago, dice, years ago. Years ago. Quando, years io, vis quando io visto la cassetta. Years ago, when I saw the cassette. Okay. Years ago, when I saw the cassette, this cassette. Adesso parli inglese. Adesso parli inglese proprio come ti vieni di Brooklyn, New York. And Michael Imperioli also. He's very, I mean, he's mostly in mob movies, but he's very good. Lui era in the film Soprano. This Chinese Soprano? Si, 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 si. There was a waiter in a restaurant in Taormina who was, uh, who had a, a, Michael for him was the stars of all people. And uh, <laughs> Michael went there to eat uh, at that restaurant. And uh, once uh, we met and I eat after him. And the waiter come to me and said, oh, you, he was my star. I loved <laughs> him so much. But something I don't like. He's so gentle. <laughs> yeah, because yes, why, why you don't like? Because he <laughs> thought that he would have to to be as in the Sopranos. Yeah, because he was like shooting he people. To, <laughs> yes, he have to, to take his his uh, gun on the table. No, he haven't the gun on the table in Taormina. Questo cosa happens to me all the time. Quando io faccio un film, io sempre per una deve fare questo gangsta, boom, boom, boom. Eh. E quando fate conoscere me in person, e sono differente. Io, We are io actors. Sono, io, sono, yes. io sono gay, e un gay man playing a gangster. <laughs> He does it all the time. <laughs> We are actors. The character is not a thing. <laughs> I like love it. So everybody, please follow Federico on Instagram. Yes. It's at Federico underscore Scribani. There you go. It's up on the screen. Oh, right now. very good. Follow him, follow him on Instagram. Check out the White Lotus season two. Check out all his other films, but they're in Italy. So like I don't know if we can actually see them, but he's got a whole bunch of them. And uh he's gonna be a doing more stuff in America Well, soon. for all of you producers that watch our show, and we know you do, because you sneak <laughs> in to see what we're doing, hire this guy. This way he comes to the United States, and we can meet him and have a dinner with him and enjoy his company. And he because can get you paid know to what? work. You know what? He's a nice guy. Thank you. 
Grazie, grazie Genovese. You got a lot of So we want to thank you for coming on. Best of luck at the SAG Awards, even though thank you're you not. Thank you to invite there. me. We'll be, we'll be rooting for you. Yes. And, and, and if you have anything big coming up, let us know. We'll bring you back and we'll promote it. It was a pleasure having you. And I will be there when I will, will be a star. Absolutely. We yeah. love it. In our eyes, you already are. So thank you very much. Buonasera. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thank you. Buonasera, Bye, Federico. Federico. Oh, what a, what a nice what guy. A nice My guy. Italian stinks. I really have to go back to Italy for like two weeks, and then it all comes back. I haven't spoken Italian in, in many, many years because nobody here in California speaks Italian. Everybody speaks Spanish, but they don't speak Italian. So I really don't exercise my brain at speaking the language. So what we're going to do, you guys, we're going to... So I hope I didn't annoy you folks out there by going half English, half Italian, but I was trying to help him along. No, he was great. He was understood. He understood. It was fun. Lots yeah. of fun and different. Very nice and good looking, and, and he's a good actor. Yeah, he's so great. So we may be hearing from him when he is a very famous actor. You got to love think, it. I think the uh, TV show Lotus. The White Lotus season two. We'll, we'll do something for him. Absolutely. And it is like the, one of the most popular shows here in the U.S. Yeah. So now we're going to bring on our next guest. And, now we go uh, to Sweden. And uh, <laughs> bring her in. So go ahead, Juan, if she's there, bring her in. Yay! Hi, how are you doing? Good. How Hi. are you? Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. Nice to meet you too. All right. So hold on. Let me um, let me uh, let me do a quick good introduction. All right, everybody. Now we want to welcome to the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell, live from Sweden, the fabulously talented pop <laughs> star, author, superstar, Jasmine Kara. Hello, and welcome to the show. Yay! <laughs> You thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, so this is my cool, outrageous man about town co host Ron Russell. And you look like a fake doll, you don't look real. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look I, fake. I just heard you're amazing Italian, that's so cool. Oh, I, I, I used to speak it really well, not anymore. I forgot so all the words. My English, <laughs> I, I have, well, oh, I'm, no, I'm, your English is good. I want to go, I want to go to Italy in the spring, and if. If I'm there for two weeks, it comes back automatically. Now, you are Iranian as well as Swedish. Yes, exactly. Half and half, you can say. I want to say something to you <laughs> in Iranian. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Ashakata. What does that mean? I love you. <laughs> hey, I had very good friends who I cannot... <laughs> I had I had good friends, that I, very dear friends that I cannot find anymore. Mimi and Mahmoud Shafi. They oh. were they lived in Tehran. She was cousins to Farah. Wow. And, I, okay. and I think they were killed. I'm not sure. Oh no! I'm yes. so sorry to I, hear that. They disappeared off the planet, and their two children as well. Oh Tara. no. That was when they were killing everybody in Tehran, in Iran. Like but I love, love Iran, I love Iranian people. I've met so many Iranian people. You go to their home, they food, love, here, take it. They're wonderful people. <laughs> oh, wonderful. that's very kind of you to say. Oh, it's the truth. Otherwise, I wouldn't say it. So, no. hang on, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. We have people in the chat. You got to say hi to the chat room. Wait, that's okay. Let me segue in. About <laughs> I want to know everything why you made such a gay video. Now go to the chat. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on. So before you came on, before our first guest, because I wanted to, people to get an idea of what you sounded like, and we actually played Cash is Queen, the video for everybody. And, oh, really? Uh, what a fucking great video. It is a great song. Oh. Um, <laughs> at the beginning of it, you say pussy is power, and then in it you say no money, no honey, and I was like, I love this. This is so <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and so we can segue into that because you've got a bunch of great videos. We should tell people about her first, though, before we're talking about that a little bit. Well, I like to, let's not do it the same all the time. Same I mean, interview gets boring. Switch it around so it's different. Right? So so Don't tell us a little bit about that song. Tell us a little bit about that song then. About Cash's Queen? Yeah. Yeah. So actually, I mean, that video is was kind of like a joke thing. You know, I was talking to a few friends. Like, imagine if it was everything was complete opposite, you know, to how we were raised. And like, you know, just put these images that we never seen when we grew up. Like, for example, I mean, now it is a lot 
more equal everywhere you know i i think ex especially in music industry it's like a different completely yes. different from when i started you know we had never like when i grew up i'd never seen a female musician my whole life you know that was like what you can play instrument if you're a girl you can do you can produce music that was like something that you couldn't even you know see happening in as when i was a kid but now it's obviously different so right. it was more like a joke that video it was not like pointing fingers like this is wrong or so uh yeah <laughs> and yeah fabulous though the song is really really good though it's very commercial and uh, and uh and it's very kind of fits for now and i know that you i believe you you kind of like your your breakout was in 2010 so like you don't i mean you don't even look you say when you like grow up you look so young you're gonna be like when you're 60 you're gonna look like you're like 30 probably because oh, no. <laughs> i'll pay you later you, you, look, you look about 17 yeah you look old. like you're 17 now and i know you're not because i, I <laughs> uh, no, you're too kind. no you look now wait are you gay or straight i'm sorry are you a homosexual woman or a straight woman no, I am. Yeah, I'm in love with music. You can say <laughs> that's okay. like. <laughs> he wants to know if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. <laughs> well, Neither, okay. A, I I ask that question to everyone. You know, here in America, it's no big deal to ask that question because gay is okay. Years ago, it wasn't, but now it's okay to be gay. Because he loved all the gay people in the video, yeah, like in your gay in Cash is so Queen. I I thought possibly you were a gay woman, but I didn't really, I will not ask again. But, um, <laughs> so hang on. Whoever gets you was lucky. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so I read though, like in 2010, you sang at a concert. I didn't understand it because it was in Swedish. And so I had to kind of, uh, you know, figure it out. But somehow, uh, somehow it was also attached to the wedding of Victoria Crown Princess of Sweden and Daniel Westling. And that kind of was how you kind of like broke into the limelight. Is that um, true? I I guess you can say that. I uh, I don't feel like I have made it yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's all, oh, no. It's always like that. It's, it's so sometimes it's it's good to hear someone else say that. Oh, you you made it. You know, it's like oh, really? I don't know. But uh, no, I've been doing music for a very long time. I love music more than anything. As you probably understand, but oh, no, absolutely, um, yeah. I also, I also read that you came to New York when you were like seventeen or eighteen, and you were busking on the street, you know, playing mm -hmm. on the street and knocking on record label doors trying to get a record deal, and you got one. That yeah. way, so that's a big deal because that doesn't happen anymore like that. You know, now you have to have you know so five million cool. followers in social media, and you have right. to have all these things. So that was very gutsy to come from Sweden. You know, to a country that you didn't really know and just start doing that, that was very ballsy and very, very good. Now I know why your English is so good because you learned to speak in New York and New York yeah. speaks correctly. But now my daughter, my daughter Deirdre, loves Sweden. She has oh, many, she did, she did. been there many times. She has good friends there. Oh, and Deirdre, really? you know, she said to me, Sweden is probably the most civilized country in the world. She oh. loves. She loves the fact that there's no uh, food, food, f all the food is natural. There are no toxic things in the food. The people are generous and love them. No, my daughter's crazy about it. It's just that it's oh. too cold, she said. And there used to be a TV show here in America. I forgot what it was called. It might have been called Welcome to Sweden. It was a it comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. Oh, really? And the star of it, the star of it was a big comedian. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It was a comedy. It was called Welcome to Sweden. It's it's the oh. most perfect, no, it's the most perfectly run country, she said. America. Well, I think America is quite amazing too. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I love America. I, it's it's. Yeah, but America's in trouble because we have so many bad things happening here that we have to make better. We're in a lot of trouble right now, but we'll come out of it. Actually, um, though, I I wrote down also that you so you've toured Sweden, Japan, UK, and the US. So you've already been like a lot of places, uh, um, 
and also that you've been on a ton of Swedish TV shows. So like that, all those are things are kind of like examples of like ways of making it that you had two number one albums on the world charts. Um, and then you wrote songs that were number one on Billboard and number one on iTunes with uh, uh, Wavy. And I forgot who the other one was, but like, so you've had lots of successes and you still look like you're, you're 17. So like you can go for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, love, I love the way you look. I love, I love the white fangs with the black hair, what you're wearing. You look terrific. You you're look very, like a pop star. You're very beautiful. You, you, you're okay. <laughs> you do, you do your own makeup. Like <laughs> no. Do, do you do your own makeup? I'm sorry? Do, do you do your own makeup? Yes, of course. In do like it. one second. <laughs> Love your eye oh, makeup. she said in one second. No, her eye, her eye, her eye makeup is beautiful. You are too nice. Very, very expressive. Your eyes are very expressive. So, beautiful so everybody, you can follow Jasmine on Instagram. Her Instagram is at Jasmine K R S with an S at the end. So it's J A S M I N E K A R A S. Why did you have to put the S on the end of it? Because you couldn't get your own name. Yeah, exactly. It was already taken. Yeah, that's that, that's well, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Now, Jimmy and I are gay men and we're married. We've been married for over 10 years. How is the gay men in Sweden? Do they have the same rights that we have here? Yes, I mean, I would say that, you know, in Sweden, it's very, for now, free. I mean, uh, everyone is, uh, you know, and also, you know, I get I gotta say the thing that I really like about going up in Sweden versus here. That's probably the only, you know, like because in America it's so many great things. But one thing that I really missed when I came to America was this whole like everyone together kind of feeling. I feel right. like in Sweden we didn't have anything called race, for example. We it was right. first time when I came to America. And also, I remember when I got my driving license in America, and it said, like, fill in race, white, black. You know, right. I'm like, what? That would be illegal in Sweden if they had something like that. In Sweden. You know, that's like discrimination. Well, kind of like. I think they've changed that now. I don't think they, they ask that anymore. Oh, they have? Oh, good. I think yeah. they've changed that. Because no, they don't. They, change. they don't change it. You well, still have to put America that. America has a lot to learn. You see, Sweden is a hundred percent white country. You have some blacks, but not many. In America, oh, no. <laughs> you have they have many, a lot. Many Africans, you have many African people. We, yeah. Let me tell you, this is it's very funny that you say that. Actually, I, I and I'd like to uh, talk to uh, other cultures because it's so funny. Because we always think like I have one. A picture of America and you have of Sweden, maybe it's which is really funny to me. <laughs> so, like for example, when I where I grew up in Sweden, like I think I had maybe one. Uh, we were five girls that always hang out, and one of them was white from Finland, and the other ones one is from uh, Kurdistan, one is Somalian, Eritrea, Bosnian, and then my cousin Persian. So it's like, and but but it's funny because to us we never saw like anything that we were different to each other. We were just like, right. oh yeah, that's my sister, you know. But when I came to America, I was like, huh, like it's very split up here, you know, and why? <laughs> I, I never understood that, but uh, I understand. America, America was run 100 years ago by very, very puritanical white people. And they just decided that the Africans were less than us. They were half monkey and half human. That's what they used to say, and that they would keep them down as slaves. Slavery became legal, so what did they do? They hired them. Today, black people have risen beyond belief. They're the tops in music, politics, athletes, fashion. Athletes. So African Americans are fabulous people, and now the white people here have come to recognize this. And we are finally, after so many hundreds of years, getting together. And it's about time. We have the most wonderful black friends that we love. And you know what? When you love somebody, you don't see color. You don't see mm -hmm. race. You don't see anything but the warmth and love from the person. Right. Actually, we have a very good friend, Cece Peniston, who sings that song, Finally. finally. I don't know if you, you probably you would know it if you heard it. Right. And oh, uh, finally, yeah. it has happened to me. Anyway, it's a really oh, yeah, big cover. Of course. I love uh, that song. 
they wow. played it in Priscilla, Queen of yeah, the Desert. Yeah, they played it in Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. So hang on. Let's go back. So, okay, so you're a pop star. Everybody, too, her website is jasminecara.com. Um, she's also an author. Two books, right? I saw two. Two books. Right. The first one uh, is a biography called Tell Her She's Dead. And the second one, which is more recent, is called The Dark Scene. And, 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 uh, and I think I read this on your website. It says it's about her dark secret double life she led while building her career as an artist, which I, uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Cause I'd like to know what you, what did you do as a, uh, you know, what did you have to do while you were building yourself as an artist? Well, I mean, um, the second book is like an extension of the first book. You can say it's, um, uh, it's about, I had this secret double life because I was, a uh, working extra as a dancer, you uh -huh. know, like in gentlemen's clubs. Uh, and that, you know, in our family, you know, with, with my culture and everything, that's basically like you killing someone. That's as bad, <laughs> and, you know? So I have to keep it a secret for my family. And uh, and also, I mean, the whole reason to why I had this extra job was to be able to do music. Yes. And so, um, so but, but I never really had to, what should, how should I put it? Sorry, my English is not so great right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but uh, but outwards, you know, no one no. had any clue because, you know, like they see you on TV and they're like, oh, she's doing great. She's making shit ton of money. And meanwhile, you know, you're broke. You live in like a little small uh, box with, you know, cockroaches in the bathroom, like, you know, and yes. um, so that's that's the reality, you know. Sometimes of an artist, especially, oh, yeah. we know, know a lot of artists, so we know we know exactly what you're talking about. And even here mm -hmm. in America, I mean, we do have some friends. I can't mention who they are who have done the same thing that you did. But you know, also a lot of them, they work in restaurants as waiters. They do whatever they can yeah, to but like the, keep but, it going. But the Iranian culture is very similar to the Sicilian culture, Sicilian Italians. Uh, if a woman dances nude in a club, she's a putana, she's no good, she's bad, she's dirty, she, the men use her, they have all these fantasies about it. But yet we have friends, one friend in particular who's wonderful, and when she needs money, she goes to Las Vegas and she dances. She's not a putana, she's not a bad woman, she's a wonderful girl who, who loves her grandmother. She owns an island now that she's turned into a help island to go there to get healthy so i think that's nonsense to think that a go-go dancer or a club girl dancer is a bad girl but iranian people still wear the uh what is it called the the, the, the black the dress you know the oh the hijab yeah the hijab and yeah. a man a woman is not allowed to do certain yeah. things and uh, you know, and how, how did your family how did your family react to the book because i'm sure they read it were they like okay well, I mean, the, it was really, you know, tough telling my, my dad is Persian. I mean, and yes. my dad is very open still. He's the, he's the best father in the world, really, I can say. But it was really scary because my, my fear was always like, how, what if he finds out or anyone finds out, then I'll, I'll commit suicide. But so when I, you know, after such a long time, I just feel like this shame, you know, and is, is eating me alive. So I like, I either tell him and, you know, and, and then it's going to kill me if they never want to talk to me again, or I can live with this shame and it's going to kill me anyway. So I, I was like, that was where I was at, you know? So I just felt like I can't pretend anymore. I can't just act like someone I'm not. You know, I'd rather be hated for someone I am than loved for someone I'm not, you know? Right, exactly. And it, it helped a lot, you know, to, to tell my parents. And I, it wasn't until quite long after that, then I decided to release the book. So the okay. book meaning was not supposed to be about me. I mean, I wrote it from my perspective, but like but, I changed my name to different one. And I was like, I'll release this, but in someone else's name. <laughs> so, um, but when I told my parents and if, after everything, I'm like, hey, why not? You know, like whatever I have to lose really. You know? well, what, can, what can they, I have two daughters. Now, if my daughters were dancers in Las Vegas naked, I would not be happy because I would never want to see it. And I, yeah, would, never yeah. want, I would never want to think that men are there looking at my daughters naked, getting excited. But I would also say to myself, they're adults. It's their life. 
And if this is what they do, I have to respect it, whether mm. I like it or not. And I think possibly that's how your father felt. What could he do? Could he stop you? No. He loves you. So he said, okay, it's your life. Do what you want. And it'll make a great movie. I mean, your books will make a great movie oh, yeah. one day. Like, oh, yeah. it's a great movie. It no, will be really, fabulous. really, really. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, nobody has ever written the stuff that you uh, said. Oh, maybe. I don't know. But, you know, okay. I feel like we not all that I, not are. That I, I have I never mean, read it. Oh, <laughs> Well, I mean, first of all, I got to say, what a cute dog you have there. <laughs> that's, that's Astro. He's our baby. Oh, this, is my, this is the love of my life. Oh, look, what a cutie. Oh, this, this is my son, and we look alike. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I, we love dogs. I love my Astro, and he loves me. And he's black and white like your hair. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he and where I go, he goes. So now where he actually leaves my son. Where actually are you with the C D background? Is that like in your apartment or are yeah. you in a studio or where are you? Because that's, uh, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just I, it's, I, it's actually made I had a bunch of um, old CDs, you know, that I'm like, I don't know what to do with these. Like they're too old to give away. They're not good anymore. So I was like, how should I recycle them? So I made a wall of them. No, that's fabulous. That's fabulous. What a great idea. It's a very good idea. Everybody out there watching, you should do the same thing. It's a great idea. And it looks very, very modern. So I, it looks futuristic. Oh. Yes, it looks futuristic. So I want to like play a song so people get to hear another yes. song of which. So I, I have two different songs. Which one is better, Callback or Gravity? Uh, callback, please. All Thank right. you. So we're going to do callback. All right. So, so uh, what you, I want you to do is you introduce it, saying who you are, and this is my song. We'll play it, and you just hang on. As soon as it's over, we'll come right back. Okay. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Jasmine Kara, and this is Callback. Yeah. Now I'm thrilled, skinny, to tell you that Jasmine Kara is a blue musician from Sweden, and uh, we've got a new single which is being released tomorrow. She's going to sing it live for us here. Lavish, it's too busy. That's a very beautiful video, but guess what? You what? are gorgeous. You are gorgeous. No. We're about to see close-ups of you. You are one beautiful, beautiful girl. I must tell you no, that. You and your too. voice is beautiful. Your video is beautiful. So I did you shoot that in, in wait, the wait, United? Wait, wait. 
I don't see any reason why you're not going to be a superstar. There you go. Uh, did you shoot that in California? Because it looks like it's shot in, in California. Oh, it does, maybe. You're right. Yeah. No, actually, it's in uh, Spain. It's oh, shot. wow. My friends live there. That's really yeah, Spain good. looks like California. Yeah, because yeah. it's uh, with the golf cart. I mean, with the golf thing. Yeah. And <laughs> we live in Palm Springs, California. That's what it looks like here with yeah, the mountains. And everything. Where you, yeah, so okay. A lot, of, a, a, lot of nice West, a lot of Western movies years ago were shot in Spain because Spain looks like California. And of course, it was cheaper to do a film in Spain than California. Uh, all of the, oh. a lot of Clint Eastwood films were shot in Spain. Really? Wow. Cowboy, but how, cowboy movies. Where you are right now? Cowboy. Is it, is it like summer where you are right now? Or? Yes. No, it's winter. It's winter. But it's warm. But it's warm. Okay. Our winter is like 50 <laughs> degrees. It's not real cold. So, wow. so do you model also, or do you act, or uh, do you no, do any? No, not at all. <laughs> you, totally could. you totally could. You really are gorgeous. No. It, would work, it would work good. I also wrote down that a lot of the stuff like touring and a lot of the stuff you did, you've done without like a manager. You didn't have management or a touring agent or anything. So basically like you're a one woman show and you've put it all together yourself, which is very, very difficult to do. So I give you props for that because there are right. people who have teams of people who, who don't have the success you've had, you know, with lots of people helping right. them. So you've done very, very well. Because I, all of my Iranian friends were super wealthy. They were extremely wealthy. Did you come from a wealthy Iranian family? Actually, not at all. My dad was quite the opposite, I would say, you know, and um, yeah, it, very, very much the opposite. And I honestly think that is a very uh, good thing that, you know, because my parents didn't have a lot when we grew up. And I think that I'm very thankful for that because it makes you creative in a different way, I think. Yes. You know, like, oh, we don't have that. We can't get that. How can we do it in a different way? You know, like this whole thing with recycling and like, you know, almost the whole home we had, you know, everything was like from the, from the track, basically. So uh, I remember that, you know, we really didn't care. You know, we were just as happy as the other kids. You know? <laughs> That's so, very yeah. good. So who were some I, of your- I, I, I want to ask a question. Do you, do you cook, uh, do you know how to cook? Yeah. Okay. My uh, Irene, you... my Irene <laughs> friend Mimi, Mimi used to make the most delicious salad dressing in the world. And it oh. was very, it had tomato. What's the recipe for that? It's Iranian. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, because I, I would love to make it. it. Was I know there was tomatoes in it and vinegar, and I don't know what else, but it was the most Iranian. delicious Iranian dressing. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't. I'm not sure which one you mean, but uh, I'm I, glad. I, know it, I know it had tomatoes in it. Tomatoes. <laughs> it was tomatoes. Tomatoes. And it was so. In fact, I was going to New York at the time, and she gave me a bottle of it. And on the airplane, the plane went down and the bottle rolled all the way down. Are you kidding? <laughs> and somebody took it. And somebody took it. They stole it. And they wouldn't, oh, you know, wow. told the stewardess I lost <laughs> my salad dressing. And she asked the people and they said, no, 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 no. Somebody picked it up and put it in their purse. That's <laughs> Imagine they stole my salad dressing. No, I also uh, saw that you performed at the Swedish Grammy Awards. So, who are are there? A, who are some Swedish artists who've broken into the the U.S. market? Like, who's some famous Swedish? Because I don't know off the top of my head. I was trying to think. Who do I know? Yeah. Are there any Swedish? Anita people? Ekberg. No, no. She's, Anita Ekberg. She's a movie star. It's been a few actually. Who, but who I are think... some of them? I'm sorry. Who are some of them? Do you know off the top of your head? Yeah, well, I do you know Robin, for example? No, yeah, yeah, Robin, yeah, show me love. Yeah, exactly. And uh, who I'm else? a big music I'm a big music person, so like I usually like know them if they had Robin was a good one. Oh, I think she froze. She froze. Well, she's in Sweden, it's cold in now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Juan. Oh, there we go. You froze for a second, so I didn't hear oh, anything. Yeah. It's cold. Is there another one besides Robin? Oh, no, she froze again. She froze again. Hey, it's coming from Sweden, you know. It's a long way off. <laughs> um, Avicii. Uh, Avicii. Is Avicii from Sweden? Yes. Yes, Avicii. Yeah. Yes, for fact. And Layla? Uh, 
as well. There's somebody, B. Claudia in Germany is, she, say hi to B. Hello? Say hi to B. She's in Germany, and so she's writing stuff down. Now, I mentioned yeah. the name, I, I mentioned the name Anita Ekberg. Do you know who she is? Anita, Anita Ekberg. Ekberg, mm. she, Miss Sweden. And then she was, she was the star in La Dolce Vita. She's the blonde. She's, she's she was Swedish. She's he's talking about. She's like the Marilyn Monroe of Sweden. Right. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, but old. She's old. Yes. Yeah, so you have to look about her up. About fifty years ago. Oh, when the okay. movie, yeah, Anita, Anita Ekberg was the Miss Universe winner for Sweden. Oh, okay. I'm, beautiful, I'm beautiful. beautiful. Her, yes. Very That's famous nice. in Sweden. So, who are some of the people that influenced you as a musician growing up? Well, I mean, that's why I, I can say that's what really drew me to America is the blues uh, and soul kind of music. Well, I, I grew up to Aretha Franklin, James Brown, you know, Tupac. <laughs> and all, but, but, but I listen to all kinds of music, of course. But but yeah, I really, I don't know. It's just something that always been dragging me to, to America. Like, I always wanted I to. I see to, you, though, because you're... You're kind of like a young, I don't know if you, uh, like Gwen Stefani when she was young. No, Miley Cyrus. Yeah, it was very cool. Like She's like you. a Miley. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, we like Miley. He I likes Miley. Miley. He likes I like Miley. I don't like too much of the new music today. It's not my kind of music, but I love Miley Cyrus. Cyrus. And kind of like a Miley Cyrus. Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> Cyrus. <laughs> I, do you know who Gwen Stefani is? Because I think it, back back in the day when she was like first with No Doubt at the beginning, she was very bouncy and fun like you with the cool hair yeah. and everything. And you, you vocally, you know, you're a little bit similar. Um, uh, it's funny because I, I wouldn't have thought you would say like Aretha Franklin, but I mean, Aretha Franklin is a superstar. He loves Patti LaBelle. Oh, Patti LaBelle. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, there's nobody yeah. like Patti LaBelle. Woo! Can she hit the ground? <laughs> and, and Sister Sledge, do you know? Have you heard of Sister Sledge? Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah. Love Sister Sledge. She's a good oh, friend. Of really good. I love her. She's a very good friend, and she's a sweetheart of a lady. Now, is it very oh. cold right now in Sweden? Is it cold there? Yeah, it's quite cold. A colder where you than where you are, I guess. <laughs> you have snow? Um, not here, no. <laughs> oh, it's not that cold. Yeah. Is it cold like New York would be now? Oh, I think that no cold is like New York cold. I mean, when it's cold there, it's it's crazy, you know. Yes, he's from New York. Yeah, I'm from. Yeah, New York. I, I remember the winters in New York. You remember? Now. It's like oh, just cold. Hurts how cold it is. <laughs> freezing, freezing, freezing. Right. I, I know that Sweden gets very cold. Actually, in the chat room, they're saying that we should package up your laughter and sell it because your laughter is so cute when you yeah, laugh. So cool. uh, I, I laugh too much, I think. No, it's super nice, though. <laughs> Listen, I know you're private about who you are, but I have to say that people that meet you have to fall in love with you. I don't think you have any problem getting a boyfriend. I think mm -hmm. don't, all the guys that see you want to adore you and love you because you're so cute. <laughs> no. Seriously. I think it's fun. Do, so the, the, the boys hit on you, don't they? All the boys like you. Well, no, I don't think so. No, I mean, I I don't know. <laughs> no. What are, they, what are they stupid or dead? No, do you get recognized? Like, yeah, do, young, if you go walking yeah. down the street, do they? Because I know you were also on a reality show, like Our Dances with the Stars. You were on a dancing, you know, reality show. Do people know you when you walk down the street? They know who you are. Um. I don't know if sometimes, you know, but I, but also, you know, in Sweden, it's very, I think very different from in America when it comes to like, if they recognize you, they don't like really come, come oh, to you. Yeah. Hey, you know, they're more like, you know, like that, like, look. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, not us. We have to all go get a selfie with them. <laughs> yeah. well, I, I, have, I have to say this. If I were 25 and straight and mm -hmm. I met you, I would be in love with you. Because you're so lovely and so sweet. And, I, and that's the <laughs> ultimate compliment comes from a gay guy. Uh, you're just adorable. <laughs> and the music is good. So you, yeah, the music you, is really good. You're heading in the right direction, my darling. You're heading in the Have right Have you direction. done very many ballads? I don't know if I saw any ballads. Have you ever done a ballad? Uh, well, I did 
honestly, like the last years, I've been releasing music only in Swedish. So like the callback one, I haven't heard that in a while now. But I miss doing music in in English. But you know, since because I moved back to Sweden, I'm, I mean, the whole uh, my whole uh, grown up life. What do you say, adult life? Adult life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I lived in the America more or less. But then, uh, just before the pandemic, you know, I had a place in Queens that I you know shared with other roommates, and that house burned down. Oh, so terrible. That's why I came back to Sweden just to kind of figure out like what to do next. And then the pandemic started, and then I kind of just stayed in Sweden and started doing music in Swedish instead. But I really miss singing in in English, so that will probably. I, only, I picked the songs I picked because they were in English because I didn't know, you know. Yeah, I, and you know. also, of you, course, can, yeah. also <laughs> you, you can come to America now and become a citizen without waiting on a quota. We have all open borders. So everybody from all over the world now can come to America and live here without waiting seven or eight years to be accepted. And soon, I think President Biden is going to make everybody that's here illegally legal Americans. So if you want to be an American citizen, come over, stay here with us or with friends, and you become an American passport. Both. You have Sweden and America. Yeah, which is great. Oh, How are you... But not um, not citizenship. <laughs> no, I, I, I was, I'm going to get an Italian citizenship now yeah. because my, my father was Italian, and that entitles me to an Italian passport. So I will have an American passport, an Italian passport. Tell me, how, what, wait, why did your parents decide to go to Sweden and not some other country? Because yeah, mom, mom's Sweden. Wait, uh, her answer is, is your name. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. Your mom is Swedish and your dad is Persian. Yeah, yeah, but but it's it is actually a funny story because my dad was going to Switzerland, but he got on the wrong train and he <laughs> came to Sweden. <laughs> so, and then um, my dad had a friend from Tehran that just married a Swedish woman, which is my mom's sister. So <laughs> they separated, but then my my dad and mom fell in love and. He stayed in Sweden instead, kind that, of. That's a, oh, no, that's that's awesome. a lovely story. <laughs> yeah. you, is your Swedish music well received in Sweden? I like, 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 can you get it on the radio and stuff in Sweden? Yes, it's yeah, it's been on the radio. I I think it's been quite good received, and um, yeah, it's very much more. What do you say? Like, it's more, uh, more vulnerable. Okay, I'm gonna listen. I'm yeah. gonna listen. What's the word? I, I'm gonna listen vulnerable because it's a ballad. I want to hear ballad. I want to hear her sing a ballad, and, I, you know, and if I if I can't hear it in English, then we'll listen to it in Swedish. Um, okay, so let's say a, let's do a, 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 a pretend a pretend thing. If you're gonna go on tour, you know, across the world, and you can go with any two music, any two famous groups or singers that you want to go to, who do you want to go on tour with? Oh. Um. And they, they, if they're alive, right? Yeah, they can be alive or dead. It's <laughs> fantasy, so you can do dead or alive. Right. Oh, okay. James Brown and Aretha Franklin for sure, then. Okay. <laughs> Aretha Franklin. Wow, yeah. Or maybe Jimi Hendrix, too. I don't know. I don't know. Jimi Hendrix is a good one. Uh, see, I'm not a huge Bob, I'm not a huge reggae fan, but in general, I know Bob Marley is an, like an icon, but I, I don't sit around and listen to to that though yeah okay um, yeah you know, so much but i think that okay and let's say so who's somebody living that you would like to go on tour with um i think anderson park is really a good musician yeah. yes. that would be cool um okay um and then hang on uh what was that? i was gonna ask another question <laughs> um oh my god i forgot what it was isn't that funny get, no, he's getting old i'm getting yeah. old i gotta, I gotta <laughs> wait a minute and get a young one <laughs> do you like do you like hip hop? Do you like hip hop? Yes, yes. Um, I, I I like hip hop a lot, so so I listen to a lot. I, I like the fun hip hop though. Uh, yeah, and, and stuff. I don't like. I, I like rhythm and blues. Yeah, he likes R and B. R and B. I love R and B. Do you like R and B? Yeah, I like. I mean, I like all music. So yeah, oh. but two that are two of my favorites for sure. Yes, I think. It's I, great. I think. When you make love, you have to make love with R and B music. Yeah. <laughs> it's a se it's sexy music. It's really sexy. <laughs> really. Too much, super no. much fun, huh? Yes, R and B music is fabulous. It's very, it's, 
especially when Barry, what was the one that died? Oh, Barry White. Barry White. White. Oh my mm-hmm. God. When With Barry his... White used to sing. That Royal. deep voice. Oh, yeah, was that, 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 was sexy. that music was so sexy. We have, because we've had a lot of really great musicians on and we've had like Earth, Wind and Fire on and Cool in the Gang. Chicago. Oh. Chicago. So we've had a lot of really big lot musicians big, come big on. on. Um, and they were all the sweetest, nicest people. Just like oh. you. There weren't big shots or show offs or nasty. I was going to say just just like you guys. <laughs> oh, they, were, they were just nice guys that came yeah. on and talked. And that's what we tell everybody that comes on our show. Make believe you're in my kitchen in Brooklyn and we're having coffee and cake and we're talking. So do you have anything anything coming up that we have two minutes left? Do you have anything coming up that we should tell anybody, like yeah. any shows or anything? Or you want us to steer them towards something? Besides your Instagram, which is Jasmine Karras, K-A-R-A-S, yes. you guys. Anything oh, that, and JasmineKara.com. Do you have anything else you want us to like uh, push while we got you on here? Well, thank you. I mean, uh, if you can stay tuned because it's coming out in English too soon. I'm working on the, the book script in English right now. So... Oh, good. What is she doing? new music. <laughs> and listen to her music, you guys. It's, uh, you're on iTunes in America, too, right? I'm sure yes, you are. Yeah. So, you guys, her name is Jasmine Kara. The music is great. Is the uh, and, watch your show. Huh? <laughs> and to keep watching your show. Oh, that's right. And to keep watching our show. And <laughs> is, is, is Cash is Queen, is that on iTunes? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm going to totally download that it. That song is going to play in every gay bar in America. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a great song and it's a lot of fun. I'm gonna yeah. share the video. I loved it. I really like. I had so much fun with it. And like, you know what's I... funny about your name? Your name is in Italian is Jasmina Cara, and Cara oh. means deer in Italian. Means deer. Oh, Cara, Cara means deer. So you are dear Jasmine, and you are definitely a dear dear woman. No. You are dear, my friends. Oh, no, you are the sweetest. I'm so happy to have known you. And if you come, if you come to California, let us know because we'll, if you're in LA or someplace, we'll come and do dinner or something. Definitely. It'll be fun. Yeah, Definitely. likewise. Welcome to Sweden anytime. I love yes. it. So yeah. everybody, this is Jasmine Kara. Her Instagram is at Jasmine Kara with an S on the end. Her website is jasminekara.com. Her book will be coming out in English, The Dark Scene. Um, she's also got another book you can get. Tell her she's dead. And uh, she's got a couple albums and a bunch of EPs out. So download her music. And we want to thank you for coming on the show. And if you come to America, let us know. And if you need anything, let us know. And we'll see you on social media. No, thank you. <laughs> Take care. You. Bye. 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 Thank Bye. you so much. Bye. Thank, thank you. What a nice, Yay. sweet girl. What, what a, a nice love. girl. What, I'm telling you, European people are just wonderful. What a great show, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Um, everybody in the chat room, B. Claudia joined us and Hub Reynolds joined us. So thanks for tuning in. Hub, guys. how are you? We'll hey, s- Hub, would you like to date that one? Yeah, she was hot. Um, so, <laughs> so we'll see you guys next week. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Take care, folks. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, we in the mix. Yeah, we in the mix, it's another episode Here we go, the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell Interviewing the hottest, newest, and truest of today's celebrities Make sure to subscribe so you can get notified weekly Jimmy Star, he's the king of cool Ron Russell, he's a gorgeous dude Chat room is live and you would be a fool Not to vibe with us at the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell Come watch it live on W4CY Radio Miss some past episodes, download on iTunes The Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell It's the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell Oh.